I mean, painting is painting. It's a, it's a very special place to be. It's a, it, it's, not everybody does what we do. Someone has to do the painting. It, it, didn't, it didn't happen before you did it. <laughs> Why did you move to New York? To, uh, to be a painter in 1967. This was the place to be in the 60s? Yeah, pretty much the only place. I mean, not the only place. I mean, you, you, in a sense, you can be a painter anywhere, really. But this was the place to come to try to get into the business and, 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 and do it and, and, and keep doing it and trying to show it. I joined AAA in 1999, and Peter Pinchbeck, I believe, was my sponsor. When, when I was a kid, I would watch all the other kids that liked, there were some kids that liked to draw more than others. You know what I mean? I mean, they all liked to draw, but there's some other kids that liked to draw more, you know? And so I would watch those kids. I'd really watch what they, not, not so much the subject matter, just how they drew itself, the line quality. I mean, my first uh, influences were probably the post-impressionists, like uh, Van Gogh in particular. I like the way, like the way dubs the paint onto the, can to the surface. During undergraduate school, I was very influenced by first-generation New York school. Rothko, de Kooning, you know, you put it all together and, and then you try to make it your own. But I'm, I'm still connected with that first-generation New York school. There's that desire to produce a surface of some kind, even when I work with acrylic. I try to get things to happen to create a, a, a kind of textured, um, it's assimilated, more of a assimilated texture than it is an actual texture. Whereas with the oil paint, you can build up some pretty nice areas. I, I guess when I went to grad school, I see, I heard about this painter by the name of Melville Price. He contributed to the development of abstract expressionism. Um, and I heard about him just through the grapevine. And then uh, I ended up studying with him and, and we became great friends and he was my greatest mentor. He was the biggest influence on my work before I came to New York. I, I've always been headed in a direction, but it's been more the direction that the painting leads me in more than following. Um, and whether I've found, it depends on how long you can keep doing what you're doing. I mean, I'm, I'm both a structure guy and a color guy. Uh, making a painting was like solving a problem. That, that's not complicated. It's not, it's not a real complicated idea. Painting really is, is, for me, is, is kind of a simple thing. Well, it's not easy to do. It's extremely hard. And the painting itself is the reward, basically. It's reaching that point at which it feels finished, feels filled up. Certain things trigger ideas that carry over into the next group of paintings. It has to do with the way angles work, the way things are starting to, certain, certain things that I might introduce that seems not part of what I was doing before suddenly becomes more important. It's, it's subtle. It's not conceptual. I mean, uh, well, there's always that 
easy answer to say that all art is conceptual. You have to have a, the concept <laughs> to begin with. But that's not exactly what they mean by conceptual art. Conceptual art gets quite complicated and, 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 and is sophisticated, highly sophisticated kind of art. And I admire it, but I don't want to do it. Painting is a lot about feeling. It, it, it comes from within one's own conception, perception of what you're looking for. I have an idea about what I'm looking for, what I'm generally trying to accomplish. As long as I keep moving toward that, that's the best I can do. It comes rather naturally. It, by leaving it open is the way I come to the conclusion. Uh, if I try to force it, it appears that way. Uh, what has it left me with? Uh, the satisfaction of having spent my life doing what I have great passion for. I want to do it and I want to think about it. I don't want to just, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking about it. Somehow it's sort of part of the conversation going on within my own mind. Uh, that saying that's contributed to Pollock about being in, so, in the painting. But I always sort of understood it in a way that as you make the painting, as you're involved, really totally involved in the painting, I get so focused, I get so, it's like I become the work itself. A painting is like a piece of furniture, basically. But its place is not like a piece of furniture. It has no utilitarian value. It hangs on the wall and is to be looked at and taken inside oneself and just like a piece of music in a sense. You know, jazz or uh, classical music mean to a person. It's very difficult to describe, but the composers had some notion about what they wanted to convey. and. That's what I have, uh, is, is a notion of what I want it to convey and I want it to all be positive, basically. I want it to be a positive statement as I drift off into the sun. <laughs>